day folks welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and like all my videos this is an electrochemistry it's a question paper of march 2020 2013 um let's cut the chase the electrochemical cell operates below consists of hydrogen half cell and the magne magnesium half cell at standard conditions now guys if you see here this is the hydrogen half cell and this is the magnesium half cell right so here in order for you to know that which one is which one is oxidizing and which one which one is reducing if you know your table by head by now you can tell that the magnesium is on top in table 4a and 4b it's on top and the hydrogen it's at below which means it's undergoing this one is going to be it's going to be an anode and this one is going to be a cathode but let's go and verify that do you see where's magnesium magnesium is at the top and the hydrogen is in the middle which is there right so the magnesium it's oxidizing so it's undergoing oxidation and the hydrogen is going to remember guys here this is an acidic solution and there are bubbles and this metal here it's an electrode it's a platinum right okay now let's answer the question reading in the reading on the voltmeter it's 2.36 so the reading there it's 2.36 volts okay um you can know why what contributes that it's the magnesium because the hydrogen, its reduction potential, it's zero. Now it says, apart from the concentration, write down two other two conditions needed for the hydrogen salt to function under standard condition, apart from concentration. So that will be, the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius and the pressure is going to be, um, is 101.3 kilopascals right it says write down the name of the term of the term of the apparatus label x this apparatus label x is the salt bridge why is it called the salt bridge it has a salt ionic salt solution they inside it um is magnesium an anode or a cathode so the magnesium the answer there is an anode as we specified magnesium is an anode right so i'm gonna write um i'm gonna write uh, the, the 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 explanation it's 8.3 the magnesium and anode it says refer to the relative strength of reducing agent to explain your answer so magnesium here is an anode if you look at magnesium magnesium here and the hydrogen there they said relative uh, explain according to relative of reducing ability so we're going to look at this side of our half cells if they were saying oxidizing agents we were going to look in this side of our half cells so if you can see here magnesium is a stronger reducing agent than this so that's what we're going to write we're going to say mg is a stronger um reducing agent than what then than hydrogen right and then we're going to say magnesium oxidizes right oxidizes to mg2 plus at an anode at an anode right and that's what that's what they need when they say explain in terms of the reducing ability right and guys again do you see the reducing ability is increasing going up so this one is a stronger reducing agent and this one is a weaker reducing agent and since magnesium is, is is oxidizing it oxidizes to mg2 plus it oxidizes that way or you can say or you can say here yeah, you can say um you can say hydrogen is a weaker oxidizing agent alternatively here you can say the other way around and say hydrogen is a weaker 
um, reducing agent sorry reducing agent then then what then magnesium right if you say that you need to keep this the same when you say magnesium oxidizes oxidizes to mg2 plus at an unroot okay let's leave that question it says write down the cell notation cell notation that involves the half cell guys it's very important 8.4 right the cell notation guys it's going to be the anode so bridge the cathode so the anode here is the magnesium and then state change mg2 plus and then the soul bridge and then we're going to write the cathode now remember in the cathode which is this side we have a platinum as a solid and the aqua solution so we're going to start with the aqua solution we're going to say h plus and then state change and then we have the hydrogen gas and then the platinum guys you'll get full marks without showing the state changes guys right um no, no not the state change like showing that this is a solid and this is the solid and this is aqua and this is aqua and this is gas guys you get full marks without showing those those states they you get full marks without them right now 8.5 guys it's raining here in cape town so um there's a sound of the rain it says calculate the standard reduction potential of magnesium half cell showing you can already see that it's going to be 3.2.36 and we can even check on the table magnesium is negative your answer should be negative so the 8.5 you will say there e cell is e cathode minus e anode so we're given the initial there it's 2.36 so we substitute to the 2.36 and then the cathode here is the oxygen the oxygen is zero and minus and the anode the anode we know is the magnesium i'm going to state it's the magnesium you don't have to do that you don't have to do this right so so it's going to be and the magnesium two plus it's going to be negative 2.36 volts right the last question write down the net um overall uh cell reaction that takes place in the cell no spectator ions required so guys um um the net cell guys here it's going to be you need to have oxidation half cell the oxidation half cell is the magnesium that oxidizes to mg2 plus plus two electrons you get it from the table the reduction it's hydrogen it's hydrogen ions plus two electrons it's reduced to hydrogen gas let's look at here do you see you write it as it is here the hydrogen and the magnesium are rotated from this way right okay the electrons are balanced here it's two electrons and two electrons and then um the net cell the net cell here you start with the product with the reactants it's magnesium and another reactant it's two hydrogen iron and arrow and then the product and the product it's going to be magnesium two plus plus hydrogen gas you don't have to write the state changes guys that's it thank you so much